Okay, in the last example, we found uh, that this C value um, did not create an x-intercept, so the x minus C could not have been a factor. Let's try another one here. So here we have a problem where we have f of x is equal to 4x to the fourth minus 15x squared minus 4, and we're going to see if this C value leads us to an, if it's an x-intercept, if it's a zero. Well, in order for it to be a zero, we should be able to evaluate the function at that value, and we'll get a y of zero. So that would be 4 times 2 to the fourth minus 15 times 2 squared minus 4. Uh, so let's see, 2 to the 4th would be 16, times 4 would be 64, and 2 squared would be 4, times negative 15 would be negative 60, and then minus 4. So 64 minus 60 would be 4, minus 4 is 0. That is giving us a point of 2 comma 0. That is an x-intercept which means then that 2 is a 0. We just proved that or showed that um, by evaluating the function. Now our problem also said that um, if this in fact is true, um, then because of the factor theorem, then that tells us that x minus c or x minus 2 is a factor. That's what we were actually trying to show there. Now it also says if it is a factor, we need to um, know how to write this entire polynomial now in factored form. Well, the best way to do that is just to perform uh, the division. So we have a, let's see, 4x to the fourth. Now I don't have any x cubed, so remember we have to put in zero placeholders, minus 15x squared. Uh, we don't have any x's, so we have to put in a zero placeholder, minus 4, divided by x minus 2. Because 2 is a 0 and an x-intercept, this should divide in evenly into our function. So let's see, x times what gives us 4x to the fourth? Well, that would be 4x cubed. And when we multiply down, we get 4x to the fourth minus 8x cubed, and then we change our signs and we combine. So we have nothing plus 8x cubed is 8x cubed, drop our next term and continue on. So what do we have to multiply to get 8x cubed? That would be a positive 8x squared. Multiplying down, we get 8x cubed minus 16x squared, change our signs and combine. So this would be x squared, drop our next term and continue. Uh, so x times a positive x would give us x squared, and when we multiply times the negative 2, we get negative 2x. Change our signs and combine. So we have a positive 2x, drop the next term and continue. Um, x times a positive 2 would give us 2x, and times the negative, uh, the negative 2 would be a negative 4. Change our signs and combine, and we have a zero remainder, which shows that that did actually, and these double check each other. If we evaluate the function at the zero, we get a y value of zero. If we take the factor and divide, it should go in evenly with no remainder. So now we can write that f uh, original function as the factors x minus 2 times 4x cubed plus 8x squared plus x plus 2. That is our function in factored form.